Today I'll provide an audio description of an artwork called Macro by the artist Francis Barth. Francis is an American artist who was born in 1946 and is still actively making art today. Many of her paintings have a balance between geometric shapes and a depth of field. In other words, she experiments with how to make average shapes like triangles and trapezoids feel less flat and more alive. She manages to do that through the way she arranges her paintings and how she applies color to each part. I'll do my best to capture that feeling in my description today. Macro is a horizontal painting made of acrylic paint, pastels, and charcoal on canvas. It's a diptych, which is an object with two flat pieces that form a single composition. Each panel is 71 and 15 16 inches by 70 inches, coming out to a total width of 140 inches. Ronnie and John Shore gave this to the museum as a gift in 2018. Because it's almost twice as wide as it is long, I'll start my description from the left side of the painting and move my way over toward the right. The whole painting is made up of five distinct blocks of color in various geometric shapes. On the left is a four-sided shape painted in crimson. The wider edge is at the top, almost extending halfway across the left-sided panel of the diptych. There is a diagonal line made of what looks like charcoal and a light yellow pastel that runs from the top left corner to the halfway mark of the bottom edge of this shape. There's also a similarly colored semicircular line that goes from the top right corner of the crimson block toward the bottom right corner. To the left of the crimson shape is a sea green trapezoid that stretches across both panels of the painting, with the shorter edge at the top and the longer edge at the bottom. This part of the painting has a lot of texture, with darker shadows contrasted with blotches of lighter colored paint and a faint charcoal line in the top third that almost looks like a crease in a piece of paper that's been folded and laid flat again. The edge between the two panels runs vertically through the trapezoid, nearly two-thirds of the width of the shape. Next to the sea green trapezoid is a golden yellow isosceles triangle that resembles an ice cream cone, with a point at the bottom of the painting. It has a rough texture made up of tiny dark spots and scrapes, almost like taking a squeegee to a dirty front windshield of a car or an exposed layer of paper mache. There's another semicircular line that bends to the right from the middle of the top edge of the triangle down to the point of the triangle at the bottom, which creates a triangle within a triangle in the top right corner that looks like rusted metal. But instead of just being a line that intersects with the triangle, it curves on the outside of the triangle and creates a white semicircle. There's a diagonal edge that extends from the semicircle toward the bottom right corner. To me, it resembles a close-up view of an upper hamstring of a leg connected to the buttocks, but at a slight downward facing angle instead of straight on. There are more visible breaststrokes or movements within the white space than probably any other part of the painting, and there are vague traces of red and orange in various places, which could be pastel instead of paint. In the negative space behind the yellow and white areas is a solid black painted area that creates a six-sided shape that narrows from the top right corner down to the bottom right. Frances Barth isn't just a painter. She has a background in modern dance and video as well. I can't say for sure what significance those media have and what direct influence it has on her painting, but I imagine that her fluency in different art forms opens her mind to more possibilities than the most obvious one. So maybe it frees her to approach painting differently than a conventional landscape painter might. Based on what I've described today, has your mind opened to any new or interesting ideas?